Gilbert Arenas has been on a roll like butter this week. So Gilbert Grape uh, was on Nightcap with Shannon Sharp, and he had to say this about the MVP. Now, I do understand when they say this about Jokic. Jokic is probably statistically, when it comes to overall game, the worst MVP winner. Is the worst MVP winner in the last 40 years. Why do you say that? When you're talking about MVP. Statistically? Wait, Sage. Outside of first and second place. Their teams was first and second place. The people who won the MVP, their teams was first and second. When now I do want. <sighs> yes, Sage. That is why he's statistically the worst MVP. Yeah, I'm about to say, am I? <laughs> well, take it a little bit more. There's a little bit more than that. When Jordan won it, his team record, they were seventh in the NBA. That year, he averaged 35, 6, 5, three steals. All-star MVP, defensive player of the year, scoring titles, steals leader. That was the MVP. Historic year. Makes sense, right? That makes sense. When Westbrook won it, his team had the 10th best record. Triple-double. When Jokic... In 2021, Jokic's team was fifth. He averaged 26, 8, and 10. What was the historic part of that? But essentially, what? you're saying um, a majority of MVP winners, they had um, high ranking teams, first, second okay. seeds. And then he goes on to mention the ones that didn't um, were the Michael Jordans, the Russell Westbrooks of the world. Who, you know, they, they weren't on those top two teams, but they were putting up crazy stats. You know, Michael Jordan was putting up 36, 8, and 8, or whatever he was putting up. Russell Westbrook had the 30 point triple double. And he's saying, because of the fact that Jokic in those years did not have a top four record in the league, what he was doing was not statistically impressive enough for him to win those MVPs. So, therefore, he's the worst MVP statistically. I find I let me, let me tell you they find a new way to hate on Jokic every. I, I, being honest, I feel like it's I feel like it's Luca and I feel like it's Jokic. They find a new way to hate on these guys every day. I, I really, honestly, they're getting extremely creative with it. So I do got a round round of applause for the creativity. Round round of applause. Because I just never sat back and would even. Think about that. Like, I know they got that from apparently uh, 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 an M uh, NBA exec. That's what they say. NBA exec says Jokic winning third MVP is not going to age well. What does that mean? What could that possibly even mean? That means we have to scale him to other all of favorites where have has three MVPs. And LP is not in the top 10 all time. Oh, okay. Well, so I'm glad you said that, Sage. Three-time MVPs and two finals MVPs if they win this year. Would be LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Kareem, or yeah, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and Magic Johnson. Is is he in the wor is he the worst out of that list or category or whatever? Yeah, he's I, awful. I think people are genuinely starting to get uncomfortable with how good Jokic is. Cause like the 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 he doesn't put up historical numbers argument. I was talking about it in my video today. I'm like, okay, let me look at these numbers, right? 26 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists on crazy efficiency. Name me how many players can put up that stat line in NBA history. Wilt? LeBron? <laughs> I don't even think LeBron's done that. Like, he, he's a guy putting up 26, 10, and 8. And winning. And is efficient. People, people are genuinely, I feel like, getting uncomfortable with how good he is. Yeah, for me, um, first things, so I just find this whole take ironic. Um, statistically, I it, it's been explained by you, explained by the clip. I haven't seen the entire podcast. I know there's probably someone stuck in Gilbert's arena that would say that he explained it better on the pod to each his own. Um, from what I've heard, from what I've been told, yeah, that, that don't make no damn sense. Um, I don't need to talk about how just eyeballing Jokic's two MVP seasons comparing to others you can easily find better, worse statistical seasons. So there's that. And then there's also, uh, pardon me, 
And then uh, most importantly, I find it ironic, though, because isn't Jokic the guy that he only has praise via statistics? I thought that was the thing. I thought the thing was Jokic is a guy where you just don't watch ball and you come up here with your well actually stats and all these guys on Twitter that never hoop before are talking about things that they are familiar with because you can talk about stats. You can't talk about something you haven't played. I thought that's what it was. I thought even as someone mentioned in chat that stats were made up for Jokic, but now he's the worst at that. Yeah, it doesn't make sense at all. It's just complete inconsistencies. Considering even if that argument was well put together, according to the full episode, I'll go watch it offline. But even if his argument was well put together, combining that with other past arguments that he has made, let alone everyone has made about Nikola Jokic, yeah, that just doesn't make sense. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to hold you. Um, As soon as I heard Gilbert Arena say, it was the worst MVP ever won. I knew it was going to be full of shit. He's racist. He doesn't even like foreigners. He thinks all the Euros should be out of the NBA. So anything he says when it pertains to a European player to me, for now on, invalid, doesn't matter, is going to be dumb. And then if I waited another 30 seconds, my suspicions were confirmed with it being something dumb. Um, makes absolutely no sense. Uh, it, it's Hey, man, Gil's trying to get that shit off. I feel it. Somebody got to be the bad guy. Why not? Why, why not to be me? I feel it. Let me introduce another point in this because it's, it's it's loosely tied, but I want to uh, introduce another one because, like I said, they find a new way to hate on these two every day. Gil found a way to hate on Jokic as well. I mean, not Jokic, but Luka. Jason Tatum damn near can't be an, uh, uh, a superstar because a 25-year-old can't make it uh, win a championship. He's a young kid still. Is that We're not talking about he went to the championship at the age of damn near – 22, 23, 24. And then you have Luke over here who's compared to Michael Jordan. And he's James Harden. He's literally James Harden, right? A dude who scored a lot of points, don't play no defense, right? But we we see what they did to James Harden, who didn't play defense. They let the world know he didn't play no defense. They let the world know he was a one-sided player. This is all he do. He's just a stat. Luca is considered the next Michael Jordan. The Michael Jordan who played defense and offense. And we have one sided where we thought, oh, one sided. Well, we know what that looks like. That's James Harden. Can he say he's better than James Harden at scoring? Can't even do that. They can't even argue. You can't even argue that he's a better scorer than James Harden in that same category. But he's considered the next Michael Jordan. Who's saying? Make the argument who's better, Larry Bird or Luca? Luca. Um, here's the thing. Let me get shut the fuck up then. I thought he was done. Mm. Yeah. Before we move forward with the rest of the podcast, we want to shout out the sponsors of this podcast, Prize Picks, our personal favorite way to play daily fantasy sports. The game is very simple. All you got to do is download their app, go on their website. They got a bunch of different sports up top with a bunch of different statistics. And if you know ball for real, you can win some money. Let's go ahead and make some picks today. The Lakers are facing the Sacramento Kings. Damo, do you think Austin Reese can get more or less than 24 and a half points, rebounds, plus assists? This is a big game for us. We need this dub. Give me the more. School Henderson facing the Atlanta Hawks. Do you think School Henderson can get more or less than four and a half assists? Um, I'm the biggest Scoot hater in the land. He's going to forget his guys at home. Let me get the less. We'll go ahead and put $10 on this entry. Place entry. And boom. That is how you make an entry. And if you guys use code LKIB, you guys can get up to 100% match on your first deposit up to $100. So if you put in 20, they'll give you 20. Now you got $40 to work with up to $100. Links to everything will be in the description. And shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Luca over Larry Bird. Um, b besides that, um, here, here's my thing that's ironic about that argument as well. James Harden, at one point in time, if we're going by... That comparison, if the Luca and Jordan comparison is valid, I think we all were there for James Harden hype. Yeah, <laughs> he got that comparison too, buddy. So even if we're going to play dumb, dog, James Harden had that same amount of hype. He had the same amount of, hey, you might, Kobe, Jordan, he, James Harden's coming. He might be better. So, so first off, there that goes, right? But then secondly, why is Tatum not a superstar, but Luka is seen as a superstar? Again, context matters. It's not just about who goes to the finals and who doesn't. People are unimpressed by things Tatum has done. Well, valid or not, because we're not really discussing that. Valid or not, people have 
been unimpressed by certain moments in Tatum's career versus with Luka, we've pointed to, wow, this nigga has nobody. <laughs> time in a timeout, time in a timeout, time in a timeout. And even then, people point out the flaws. But even then, people like yourself will sit there and say, Luka can't get it done. Luka's a choker. Luka's a stat guy. All these other things. So it's just unironic that he probably saw one tweet called Luka Jordan, even though people call Anthony Edwards Jordan, but you don't hear him bringing that up. <laughs> don't hear anything about Anthony Edwards being Michael Jeffrey Jordan and Lucas done more than Anthony Edwards. But that's besides the point. Ultimately, at the end of the day, even if we had to play dumb and everything Gilbert said was 100 percent correct, they did it with James Harden. So unless you had a problem with that, too, which you should. I don't see what the issue is. I don't see why it's such a conundrum. My thing would be I don't like the way he's. Throwing the name James Harden by saying he's just a he's just a James Harden. Awesome, I, I, I think Gil may forget when we're talking about in the 2010s for the game of basketball outside of LeBron and Stephen Curry, who had a bigger impact, especially on the later years of the 2010s. Nigga James Harden. The reason why the gather step, the reason why niggas is getting real, real iffy with what's a travel, what's not a travel, what's a carry, what's not a carry. That Stop shit man. is because of James Harden. The double step back, the hey, now you have all these these basketball trainers on Instagram. Yeah, exactly. Is this a travel or not? And they're hitting some ridiculous move, but then you break it down because the rule book, low key, this might not be a travel. That's not even a question without James Harden. Hands down. It's not as much as I have to say about James Harden, all the shit I talked about James Harden, the Charles I did with James Harden. When we're talking about post-2015 basketball specifically. James Harden has a bigger imprint on basketball in that time frame. Out, again, outside of LeBron, Curry, you can argue oh, Kevin Durant. Paul George. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, now you got to say Paul George. Now. Yeah, now say Paul George. Mm -hmm. um, still elite company in terms of for the game of basketball. So yeah. just saying he's a James Harden, insane. Um, then I'm with Sage. Who's better, him or Larry Bird? Hey, man. <laughs> 2.0, we done with the 90s. <laughs> Done with the 80s. I'm not trying to hear that shit. We And I would love to have a conversation with him because I loved he said that. Yeah, nigga, shut the fuck up. Yeah, old niggas. Because I'm not trying to hear none of that Larry Legend bullshit when we're talking about the Luca. I, I, I'll sit there and talk to you all day about it. I'm with Sage. He's seen a comment. He probably was on playback one late night or doing some fucking stream or, or just being bored and seeing niggas trolling him. Seeing niggas joking. Seeing niggas be hyperbolic. Whatever it is. Seeing niggas do what internet niggas do. And all he said was, "This, see, this was wrong. With these niggas now. This is this is the problem." And went on his fucking hill to die on. Like, and, and he's racist. I'm not forget. He's racist to Europeans. It is confirmed. You put a I little mustache on him. You know who he is. Come on. This is crazy. I think uh, if you listen back to the original take, he was trying to say something and just fucked up the explanation altogether. Because I think the take he was trying to say was just that. Okay, if you're not a top four team in the league, you need to have the outlier season, right? Which is something that we've talked about on this podcast. If you're not, if you're not going to be winning at, at, at crazy rates and putting up good numbers, you have to put up historical shit to win the MVP. He fucked up by saying, uh, "Yeah, the reason why, uh, what you call it? The reason why Nikola Jokic is the worst MVP of all time statistically is because he didn't win much. He fucked up because of that. He just fucked up the explanation. But even in that." supposed right take you can still pick that apart because i genuinely feel like the conversation around the mvp has changed since 2017 um i've been adamant on that uh with this podcast um and i don't know just just holding the MVP, the mvp conversation now to the standards of what the conversation was in 2010 2000 1990 that's just a wrong way to look at the mvp conversation in my opinion now i will say this <clears throat> this is a quote you can't take this young man for granted. He's better than Dirk. He's in the atmosphere of MJ, the best to ever do it, LeBron, Kobe. And so just to appreciate what this young man is doing at the age of 24 is something that Dallas has never seen. And I've said this internally. He is better than Dirk. That is Jason Kidd on Luka Doncic. Uh, I, I guess that is a comparison to Michael Jordan, I, you know, right, right there. That's, that's the one we're looking for. Um, so we got to walk that back for Gil, man. Walk that back for your guy. Walk that back for him real quick, Damo. Did he lie? I'm sorry. I know you said Damo, but I, did he lie? 
Dirk, Dirk or Luca? The, what are we doing? No, <laughs> are we Dirk or Luca? MJ. <laughs> MJ or Luca? What, what are we doing? Uh, did he lie? But but that's besides the point of if he lied. I'm just going to recycle because Damo, I'm glad you emphasize in your point. I'm going to emphasize again as well. When people do that cross image of Anthony Edwards and Michael Jordan, and I don't want to slander Ant. Y'all know Ant in my five now. I fucks with Anthony Edwards. Let me be very clear. But I don't hear nothing about that. I don't hear nothing about Tatum being Kobe all day, every day. To the point. And then when people are like, yo, stop being Kobe. Just be Jason Tatum. But then he's still getting Kobe can- comparisons regardless. I don't hear nothing about that, but you heard one tweet from his coach, <laughs> and, and now it's and now it's all out of hand, which is great. You'll start hearing about Ant though in like two to three years. You'll start hearing about SJ next year, but yeah. but the thing is though, it's still crazy because then they'll go to Jokic to odd levels. It's it's all it's it's like weirdly different when it's been Giannis. Jokic and um Luca, then it's been everybody else. Everybody else has gotten the typical we love you, we hate you, we love you, hate you shit. J a la Jason Tatum, Anthony Davis. But at least even those players, to be honest, let's really talk ball, a little bit different, a little bit different tier than the three names I mentioned earlier. But the three main three names I mentioned earlier, if those names were like LeBron, Katie Curry, nah, you're good. <laughs> Listen, um well, I'm not gonna get too carried away on my comparisons. I actually still do believe in foreign players, me, myself, and I, right? And with that being said, when I head over to Prize 